New York City, 2012. Magician David Blaine begins a 72-hour stint standing in the middle of a million volts of electrical current protected by only a suit of armor. But is it a mere trick, an illusion? Or is it evidence that what we call magic actually exists? We're interested in people like David Blaine because we find those things amazing. It just pushes the boundaries of what human beings are capable of. And I think that we ask ourselves, could we be capable of such a thing? We will embrace the endurance of facts. We will embrace them because we think this might be real. Well, maybe there's something to this. Maybe there isn't a trick. Maybe I can evolve into a person able to do this kind of magic. We are quite literally searching for the supernatural in ourself. Izu Oshima, 60 miles south of Tokyo. It was here in the 7th century BC that a legendary Japanese mystic known as Enno Yoja was banished for his so-called magical powers. Enno Gyoja was the founder of an ascetic teaching. Shigendo means the practice of training and testing. This tradition from the seventh century, done up in the mountains with great physical arduous exercises and discipline, is said to lead to an access to supernatural powers beyond our understanding. Enno Gyoja's magic differs from our European concepts of magic in many ways. This is something that you bring out of yourself. He would go high into the mountains, less oxygen, isolated, less food. Just one lapse of concentration and you die. And then also meditating in the middle of a waterfall. That's where he finds silence. That's where he finds control. Even historical records depict Enno Gyoja as someone who was endowed with magical capacities and the ability to also summon and control demons and spirits. Enno Gyoja was also known for his ability to ride five-colored clouds. He was also said to be executed a number of times, and every time the executioner's axe landed on the back of his neck, the axe actually shattered to pieces. Still today, we're making ongoing discoveries about the capabilities and potential of the human brain and body. So it's possible that in the stories and legends of Inno Gyoja, we're seeing someone who was able to somehow access knowledge that was already hardwired into our own DNA by extraterrestrials.